What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out the brand new Phantom Knight Link monster that just got revealed. Of course, this is coming out of the Legendary Hero decks that we're going to have our hands on in a little bit over a week. And I have to say, after all the disappointment that I just had to take from yesterday's Hero Link monster, I really didn't know what to expect from a PK Link monster, but I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. I think that this card is actually super fantastic, and it has a whole lot of utility for PK as an archetype. So let's go ahead and break down the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardeek. I probably mispronounced that word. Maybe it's in a different language or something like that. Excuse me if I did. Anyways, it's a Link 3 Dark Warrior because, you know, PKs are Dark and Warrior. Effect Monster, 2100 Attack, and the Link Points are bottom right, bottom left, and then also to the right. The materials are very easy for Phantom Knights to make. It's just two Dark Monsters. So everything in the PK archetype is dark and even the xc monsters that they summon regularly that'll be like dark rebellion xc dragon dark requiem dragon those are also dark so i don't think that that's going to be a problem the effect says during your main phase, you can send one the Phantom Knight's monster from your deck to the graveyard, then set one Phantom Knight spell slash trap directly from your deck to your spell and trap zone. If a Dark XC monster or monsters is special summoned to a zone discard points to, while this monster is on the field except during the damage step, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Both of those effects are hard once per turns, and this card cannot be used as link material. I don't think that last part of the effect where, you know, this guy can't be used as link material and that doesn't really seem like it's much of a problem to me i'm not sure if phantom knights are really going to want to climb that far up the ladder to keep link summoning it seems like you'd be better served to use those monsters or whatever other resources you have to potentially try to exceed summon considering you get a bonus effect off that to me this card is absolutely incredible and i love the design of it i know a lot of people probably still think that i hate link threes but this is how you design a freaking link three number one as soon as you enter your main phase or as soon as you activate the first effect you're instantly going to be able to get yourself a uh, phantom knight speller trap card that's just built into the first effect you gotta like that number two when you send a Phantom Knight monster to the graveyard, well, if you send Silent Boots or if you send Ancient Cloak, those can banish themselves and those can get another card instantly as well. So basically off the first effect, you can get like two copies of Fog Blade, which is, that's pretty damn incredible. In fact, you can go different routes. You can actually get something offensive because, you know, PKs have their own rank up spell. They have other cards that can do offensive things as well. So the first effect a lot of times is going to actually lead you to a plus two. And then I like the fact that if if you want to continue to summon monsters from your extra deck, let's just say that you do want to XC summon for Dark Requiem, or you want to go for, I don't know, Dark Rebellion, or, you know, Breaksword, which is probably their most common XC that summoned, you are going to be able to not only get that monster on the field, but you're going to be able to blow something up at the same time, and... Another thing that I like about this card is it doesn't have to be link summoned in any type of capacity to get that effect. In fact, the XC monster doesn't have to be XC summoned either. You could actually just have this card on the field. You could you could monster reborn the link monster and get the effect. If you monster reborn this card and then you actually summon an XC monster, you're still going to be able to get the effect. This card is incredible because it, it basically just puts like all the resources that you put in. Let's say you do put in three dark monsters and you get this, you're going to be getting one one big monster out of it and then you should be able to get two spell and trap searches immediately assuming you drop you know an ancient cloak or a boots into the graveyard even if you never actually use the xc summon you're basically breaking even with this card already the only real downside to this card is the fact that it's not much of a world beater it's only 2100 attack and it, there really isn't any option for this card to gain any attack or to really go up but i think what konami is trying to say here is hey if you want to make a big offensive push summon this card and then go for an xc summon when you get that xc summon off you're going to be able to pop a card on your opponent's side of the field you pop maybe a card that's in your way and you will be able to push for some legitimate damage and i just feel like it's a very good card with a lot of utility and it just feels like a well executed card so you guys let me know what you think of this card it's just when you look at this card and how good it is and then you look at the hero link monster it kind of makes you wonder like what the fuck went wrong with that card and why is this card so much better when they're both link threes doesn't make a lot of sense to me anyway i'll talk about the nordic stuff tomorrow but uh yeah hopefully this will keep you guys at bay until then whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos